All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad. I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And this one, I'm in the book of Second Address, chapter 8. I just want to read a little section in this chapter. The whole chapter is beautiful. You know, you should go read it if you haven't read it. All right, for the newly brothers learning, you know, this truth. Because Edris is having a moment with the Lord. And the Lord is revealing to Edris the things of the future, which is now. Okay, he's giving Edris the mystery and understanding of the times. And what the Lord is ultimately going to do with his people. But it starts with the elect. All right. So I want to read here Second Edges 8 and read on down. It says, Then answered he me and said, Things present, things present are for the present, and things to come for such as be to come. For thou comest far short that thou shouldest be able to love my creatures more than I. But I have aforetimes drawn nigh unto thee and unto it, but never to the unrighteous. All right, because, you know, Edris is heavy. You know, he has heaviness in his heart about Israel on the whole. And he's speaking to the Lord when you read a few verses up on how the Lord shall have mercy on Israel. But you can see that Edris didn't clearly understand the... Uh, the division between the two all right which the lord loves the elect and is going to save the elect but he has never loved the wicked of his people you know the wicked ones of his people this is talking about the israelites so the lord said for thou comest far short that thou should be able to love my creatures more than i but i have a four time draw near draw nigh unto thee and unto it but never to the unrighteous so the lord has never for the unrighteous it says in this also thou art marvelous before the most high in that thou hast humbled thyself as it becometh thee and has not judged thyself worthy to be much glorified among the righteous and you see when you read that it's not a good thing to glorify yourself you know you got men that are set up as an examples today and they glorify themselves to, you know, you seeing them later on, you know, come to north. Now they're not even teaching, you know. I was having a conversation with a brother the other day. And we spoke about, you know, like battle rappers and song makers. You know, battle rappers are good for the moment. But song makers last forever. And us, you know, hopeful elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Are like song makers but singing that song of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But then you got those battle rapper type guys who could be snappy with the scriptures, you know, and um bring out the scriptures here and there. They have their moment, their era, their season, and then eventually they ain't heard of anymore. So like yeah, let me get past this music. Let's see. Alright, um, you know, that's just Satan. And um you know, like I was saying, you had your battle rappers and you got song makers. And you know, you could look at, you know, brothers watch some of that uh, battle rap stuff today. And, you know, this for, in, you know, the entertainment of this world, you know, you have your picks who you like. Some, some guys are old coming back into the battle world, the new battle world today. And you would say, you know, he had his time back then because it was different. It was a different season, you know, it was a different season. It was, it was okay in that season. But if that's all you are as a battle rapper, then guess what? You're not going to make it. You're not going to last. But if you're a song maker, you know, songs last forever. We listen to songs today from the past as if it was made yesterday. And the song that lives forever is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's word. Just like his laws endure forever. So let's move on. 
it says, um, and that thou hast humbled thyself as it becometh thee, and hast now judged thyself worthy to be much glorified among the righteous. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And that's what we're coming into. Great misery. All right. And why so in this world? Because they have walked in great pride. And that's so much pride in man today. That is ridiculous. Okay. You know, starting with that Israelite man and how he carries himself. You know, you see pride on television. You, you know, you see pride in your, you know, in your fashion of clothes. You know, it's pride and ignorance. Pride and straight wickedness. You know, you think you're somebody and you're not. You know, they promote it. They boast it. You know, women proud because they have liberty. They could do whatever they want. This is why the great misery is coming for your wickedness and pride. It says, verse 51, but understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. So for us brothers who are followers of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, the Lord's hopeful elect, we have to seek out men who are like unto, the, unto Edris. We have to seek out men who are like unto the Lord. And I got to tell you, that's great millstone starting with our apostles and elders, real men who are really pushing forth this truth. And being the prophets of the Lord, speaking prophecy, you know. So you got to seek out those men, not the men that are wolves in sheep clothing. All right. If you're looking, you know, in this truth and sincerity and honesty. So it says, but understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. For unto you is paradise open. The tree of life is planted. The time to come is prepared. Plentiness is made ready. A city is building. The rest and rest is allowed. Yea, perfect goodness and wisdom. And that's our kingdom. That's going to come through Yahweh Shai. The root of evil is sealed up from you. Wickedness and the moth is hid from you. And corruption is fleed into hell. It's fled into hell. To be forgotten and guess what you know that incorruptible crown you know uh, re re resolves around uh, us having those new bodies being perfect man you know never getting sick never getting tired never getting old okay never feeling pain and hurt but living in happiness and harmony under under your how about shimmy how shy you know being to enjoy your kids, living a full life, okay? Which really live forever, excuse me, you know? Living forever. That's what we look for. So the root of evil is sealed up from you, which the Lord is telling Edris, and Edris is one of the elect. Weak weakness and the moth is hid from you, and corruption is fled into hell to be forgotten. It says sorrows are past, and in the end, it showed the treasures of immortality. See? And therefore, ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. So the Lord is going to destroy two-thirds of his people. You know, this is not something brothers are making up. This is in the scriptures. And you read it over and over. When you get into certain scriptures, you get the understanding that the Lord is not dealing with all Israel. And therefore, ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High, thought scorn his law, thought scorn of his law, and forsook his ways. Moreover, they have trodden down his righteous and said in their heart that there is no God. Yea, and that knowing they must die. All right, so when you saying that the Most High don't exist, all right, you you love death okay you're gonna die and not just die you know in peace you're gonna be tormented man you're gonna be punished for not acknowledging the power which is the higher power the heavenly heavenly power 
our Father which are in heaven, and Yahweh Shai, his son. All right, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, As for the things aforesaid shall receive you, so thirst and pain are prepared for them. For it was not his will that men should come to Noth, but they which be created have defiled the name of him that made them and were unthankful unto him which prepared life for them. And therefore is my judgment now at hand. And that's the point. The Lord's judgment is now at hand. All right. Every day that goes by, we're closer and closer to the Lord's great judgment. That's going to judge the whole world. Okay, starting with his people first, the Israelites, and then down to these heathens, and ultimately, these Edomites, man. It says, These things have, have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee, and a few like thee, then answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last times, but in what time thou hast not showed me. All right, so you know we got to give all praises to Yahweh by Shimei All right, because these mysteries are not given to all men; these mysteries are given to selected, elected men. Okay, let me say starting with the men first, you know, and then you women who are elected women. Okay, that's of the Lord's elect that will be in the household of the Lord's uh, man. Okay, one of His elect. You know, you're showing these mysteries now, but it starts with the men. So we got to give thanks and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You know, the taste of this heavenly gift and to know the things that are coming and to be joyful, you know, because we got an everlasting kingdom. We have a, a, a world without a world that never ends, you know, and earth is just one world, man. You know, it's one world in itself. The scriptures say, nor I nor ear have heard what's in store for his elect, roughly paraphrasing. You know, Yahweh Shai said, in my father's house is many mansions. So those many mansions are different planets. So we can't even, you know, even think about the other planets yet. We can imagine things, you know, we can imagine it and um, and scrapulate, you know, on what we believe. But the Lord said that they're there, so they're there. We know it. But, you know, we can't really uh, uh, feel it yet because, you know, we, we got to get those new bodies. We got to see Yahweh Shai first. Things has to happen before that. Meaning Yahweh Shai returning and recovering the remnant of his elect. You know? So hopefully, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let me say that again. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. In the Hebrew, call Halal La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which means all praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I got to give double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. Shalom.